Hey guys, in today's video we're going to find out how Apple is redrawing the boundaries of artificial intelligence with OpenElem, its latest open source AI model. That's right, open source at Apple, you heard correctly. Want to know how this breakthrough could change the game in many industries and revolutionize the way we interact with technology? Then let's go together, but first comment below if you already use any Apple products, iPhone, iPad, MacBook, maybe even Apple Vision Pro. Comment, let's chat. In a surprising move from Apple, a company known for keeping its projects secret, OpenLM, its new generative AI model has been introduced. This model marks a significant change in Apple's approach, showing a new willingness to be open and collaborate with others on AI development. OpenElm stands out not only for being open, but also for its technical achievement. It's reported to be more accurate than the previous model, achieving this by using a significantly fewer number of pre-training tokens. I'll open up the numbers in a little while and you won't believe it. This increase in efficiency and accuracy indicates that Apple is making significant progress in AI, aiming to solidly establish its presence in the industry. At CERN, OpenElm is a cutting-edge language model developed by Apple's team of researchers. It utilizes a method called tiered scaling which optimizes how parameters are used within the model's structure, allowing for more efficient data processing and increased accuracy. This is a major shift from the old models that distributed their configurations evenly across all sessions, making OpenElm more intelligent and adaptable. The model was trained using a wide selection of public sources such as texts from GitHub, Wikipedia, Stack Exchange, among others, amounting to billions of data points. Thanks to this comprehensive training, the model can understand and create human-level texts based on the inputs it receives. It also comes with a full suite of tools and frameworks for further training and testing which is very useful for developers and researchers. What really makes this template stand out is that Apple has chosen to make it an open source framework which you can use for both training and evaluation. Generally, companies only make available the model weights and the code needed to execute them. OpenElm goes a step further by including training logs, multiple checkpoints and detailed settings for pre-training. This openness allows users to actually see and copy how the model is trained, helping everyone conduct more open and shared research. When it comes to training the model, OpenLM uses some clever strategies to make the most of the computational power it has. For example, even though it uses fewer pre-training tokens than other models, like the MMO, it still manages to be more accurate. It accomplishes this by using smart methods like the RMS standard to keep things balanced and the grouped query attention that improves the functioning of the computation and increases the performance of the model in benchmark tests. OpenElm has proven to be more accurate than other language models. For example, it is 2.36% more accurate than MMO, even using half of the pre-training tokens. This success is due to a special technique called tiered scaling that adjusts the settings in each layer of the model to improve its performance. The model's effectiveness is also clear in several standard zero-kick and field-kick tasks where the open helm consistently outperforms other models. These tasks test how well the model can understand and respond to new situations it wasn't specifically trained for, which is really important for its real world use. Seeing how AI models like this work in the real world is critical, and that's why benchmarking is so important. Apple has conducted a thorough performance analysis to compare it with other high-end models. 
This type of testing shows how fast and accurate the model is, providing developers and researchers with valuable information to make it even better. The OpenHelm's design enables it to manage its parts very precisely. Each part of the model can be adjusted independently, maximizing the use of available computing power. This approach doesn't just make the model more accurate, it also enables it to handle different types of AI tasks better. During the testing, it was clear that while the unique use of the RMS standard makes the model very precise, it also makes it slower. Because of this, the Apple team is planning on making changes to speed them up without losing precision. They want to make the model faster so it can be useful in more types of jobs. Apple put the open helm through thorough testing, making it perform a variety of tasks. From simple ones it could handle immediately to the more complex ones that required deep reasoning. It was subjected to rigorous tests where it had to understand and answer different questions, just like how we use AI in real life for things like digital assistance, data analysis, and customer support. The test also examined how OpenHelm worked with Apple's own MLX framework, allowing machine learning programs to run directly on Apple devices. Doing this reduces the need for cloud-based services, keeping user information private and secure. OpenHelm working with the MLX library enables the model to work on Apple devices for tasks like inference and fine-tuning, taking full advantage of Apple's powerful AI capabilities without always needing to be connected to the internet. Running AI models directly on devices like phones and IoT gadgets is a huge advancement, especially when it's cumbersome to connect to a server. By processing data locally, devices respond quicker and keep your personal information safe and secure, which is especially crucial in this day and age. OpenHelm is great for this sort of thing because it's clever about how to use the limited space and power that these smaller devices have. For developers making AI-powered apps for products, this local processing is key. It allows them to put powerful AI capabilities into everyday gadgets from phones to home technology, making them smarter and faster at decision making. Therefore, we can say that Apple's new AI model is a major breakthrough in the field of AI, providing an innovative, efficient, more accurate, and flexible language model than many current models on the market. By openly sharing its training and assessment methods, Apple is helping to make AI research more accessible to everyone this could lead to further advancements in the field of AI. The new model is a powerful tool for using AI on the devices that millions of people use every day. Leave your ideas and questions in the comments. I'd love to talk about the subjects of the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Indications of upcoming videos are popping up here right now that make perfect sense for you to watch. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.